All right, guys, so this is a 2013 Rancher we're working on here. I've got the shift buttons all pulled apart. I can't get it, it's not shifting electronically. If you look on your left side of your engine, I've got the cover obviously removed from here. This is your shift motor right there. Um, one of the first things you can do, I've got another video, but one of the first things you can do is test your battery and see if your battery is charged. If your battery is not charged, these things don't like to shift. Um, then what I would suggest, cause it's the next easiest is that motor. You can either, what I've done is I'll pull the motor off the engine and then shift it with it on the four wheeler and see if it turns. Um, you can also unplug it, take it to the bench, put 12 volts to it, nine volts. If you got a nine volt battery, whatever, and uh, see if it works that way. If you get to a position where you can't shift, um, and you're trying to figure out where your emergency shifter is, come in here. I'm going to show you. So this is your four-wheel drive shaft, right? This is your front drive shaft. So if you come to about maybe this rib, if you come see it right there, this little piece right here may be hard to focus on, but that little guy right there is what you're looking for. That's your emergency shifter. You can buy a tool. My 2013, I don't have the tool. So what you can also use is an eight millimeter socket. Eight millimeter socket gets in there. Let's see if we can get it on there. And then you can shift away. And you can check and see if it's your transmission, if it's a mechanical issue, or if it's a uh, electrical issue. So going let's see if i can tell you this correctly if you push this way you're down shifting so like see i'm in neutral right now and if you come towards me towards yourself you're up shifting i should be in probably third or fourth now so I'm gonna show. third see So that's how you can, uh, so I should be in neutral feels like, nah. where are we at now we're in neutral. So that's how you can use that and then you can keep chasing your gremlins and see what's going wrong with your four wheeler.